Hi guys, in this video we will try to learn how to create the nested form groups in the Angular 18. So I will try to show the same example. So to demonstrate the nested form group, we need to build a profile editor with the first name, last name and also an address group containing the street, city, state and zip. Let's try to design this one. So first of all we have created the component and we also have all the necessary form group and form control from the Angular forms, everything we are having. And in this one, so we are having a profile form with a new form group. First name, last name we are having it, right? So we need to have an address form. So I will be creating an address and this one you will be having a new form group. Again, you can have a new form group in this one. So in this, we will be having street is equal to new form control of empty. And also you will be having another one is nothing but city new form control. So of empty. And, the, uh, and another one is sorry state new form control of empty and the last one is zip new form control of empty okay so this is the form group which we have created now let's try to go into the uh, design thing so that is nothing but the html part so let's try to design this one so here in this one so how you will be maintaining this one is so here we are having uh, for example if i try to explain here we are having individual controls first name and last name and a nested form group with its own controls for street street city state and zip we are having it so now let's try to configure the template so to display and interact the form we will add a form template that binds the input fields to each form control including those in the nested form group also let's go here so we already have it and in this one so you can have a another div and here you need to write the form group name is equal to address so the whichever the form you have created the same thing so whichever the thing you are having in the same scenario so you can have it and and for this one you will be having the street okay and the form control name is nothing but the street so now there is no need to write address dot street why because this all belongs to the single thing there is nothing but the uh, form group address form so here I can write the street so in the same scenario so I can copy this entire thing and I will try to do it street finished and the other one is the city so let's try to write the city so I will copy this entire city and I will paste it here and here also I will paste it and here also I will paste it and here we need to change it to street okay id thing so city is also finished and another one is the state so let's try to copy this state so here you will be having the state and i will copy this entire state wherever it is necessary and the last one is the zip that is the only thing right left out yeah zip so let's have the zip here i will also have the zip here and i will copy this zip zip and also the zip okay so finished so now we can also have in such a way that so on submit we are able to have it if you want to write the button name here also you can use the click also that's not a problem so now if you want to get if you want to see the details of this one also you can have something like form value and here i can do the pre um, file form dot value and i can use the pipe json so now here the json we have used it right so let's try to use it or otherwise let's leave it this one on so i will try to show you when we are learning the pipes and all those things so fine so now here we have it right <coughs> now here profile form is a form group and containing to individual uh, so this all the things we have finished it so now the template uses the form group to bind the profile form and the form group name address to group the nested controls. So we are able to see this one. And the input element uses the form control name to link the field to its respective control. The button, the form triggers the on submit method to partially update the form values. So now here, let's try to see the method. So now if you try to see this one, so now here, um, so we will be updating the uh, sorry so we have used this one on enter thing right now when i try to save these values okay and what is the state coming okay 
So now if you try to see the inspect element and if you see the console and if I click on this one, so you will be able to see the form group and in this form group you will be having a uh, property that is nothing but the value property. You will be able to see the value property. In this one you will be able to see. So let's try to go to here dot value. Okay, so we will have a dot value and here I will try to take this all the values and if I click on this one, see this is how you will be able to get the address has a specific thing and state we are not able to get it. Why? Street city. Okay, it's mystery thing. Yeah, I have missed it. Somehow I missed it. Why? How I have missed it? So let's try to get control dot z. Okay, 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 okay. So zip. So here we'll copy it. I don't know how I have missed it. So we'll have the state also here, and here also you'll have the state, and here also you'll have the state, and the state. That's it. So fine. Street city state zip. Okay. And here I'm I'm writing the entire thing. You will be able to see. This city also I'll try to remove it. And okay, this enter form will go away. Why? Because the, uh, the thing has been refreshed. So here you'll be able to see the address state and whatever the things you have written, everything we will be able to see. So now so now we will be having two types of methods in the update profile. For example, let's say that I have removed this one. So if you want to update some part of the data, okay, if you want to update the some part of the data, then what we need to use is the we need to use the patch value. The patch value, what it will try to do is updates only the properties specified in the call, leaving others being untouched. So this is useful when updating the parts of a nested structure. So for example, let's say that I'm having in such a way that button uh, you will be having button type is equal to button. Okay, so this one is a button only. So this is not a form. Let's assume. And when I am trying to click here, so when I am trying to click in this one, so update profile. I will use update profile. So I want to update upon clicking on this button. So here update profile. When I try to click on update profile, if you try to see here, okay. So if I try to see here, update profile. So now update profile, let's try to refresh this page. Yeah. So now when the user clicks on this update profile, so I want to, uh, if you try to check console.log, uh, this dot profile form dot value, if it is there means, then you will be able to see um, submit. So you'll be able to see that nothing has been there, right? So now if I want to update the values for this one, so how can I update these values? So it's only some part of the values I need to update it. So here I can use such a way that patch value. I can use the patch value. So I'm updating only some part of the things. Now if I try to click on the button here, see only some part has been updated. So this is how we'll be. So that means only the remaining all will be untouched. So here we update the first name field to the Nancy and street in the address form group 2123 something like this. Other controls like city, state and zip remain unchanged. And another one in contrast to the patch value, we also have an another method that is called set value. It requires providing values for every control in the form. It's stricter and will throw error if any of the controls are omitted, making it useful for the validation. So now if you want to update all the values means then we need to use the method set value instead of using the uh, what I want to say is patch value. So here if I try to click on submit, see all the values got updated. So this is how we will be using the set value and also the patch value. So you need to understand these two things. So hope you understood about this concept. So if you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.